So our last ideas here are in terms of being able to describe the size of an object, where we do that generally in terms of what are called weight and mass, where weight, specifically at least in the physics context, refers to the force of gravity on an object. So the fact that you weigh some number of pounds varies depending on the celestial body that you happen to be nearest to. On the moon, you would weigh significantly less, whereas on a much larger object, like say the sun, you couldn't survive on the surface of the sun, but if you could, you'd be much heavier because the sun is much bigger. On the other hand, mass refers specifically to the size of something in terms of its atoms, in terms of its molecular structure, where in a class like physics or chemistry, these would be really important distinctions, but for us, we're focused more on everyday uses of these things, and for everyday uses, a lot of times you're gonna be measuring either weight or mass on a spring scale, something with the same principle as a spring scale anyway, which does just measure gravitational force in either case. And as a result, even though for a more careful context, we talk about the weight of a thing in terms of pounds or newtons or whatever else unit you want to use there. In this context, we'll kind of refer to a pound as being an interchangeable thing with a kilogram, even though a kilogram is specifically meant to measure mass, not just weight in the metric system. For us though, that distinction's a little bit null. I will say though that the International Bureau of Weights and Measures has made it their business to be very picky about those things. In particular, they have set the standard size for units of measure, in particular the SI units of measure and the metric units of measure, since the metric system was put into place in 1875, where an interesting fact about their measurements is that the kilogram, something we started with in terms of that specific place when we were describing what the gram was when it was set out in the 19th century, has changed its size over time. It's gotten, I think it was a little bit smaller up until 2018, where in particular, a lot of changes were made to the system as a whole to try and standardize a bit more around scientific things than the distance between Paris and the North Pole, where the kilogram had its weight reset, not weight, excuse me, mass, its size reset around the Planck constant at that time. It was put into, it was voted on in 2018, put into place in 2019. So, oddly, the kilogram is not the same mass as it was when it was first defined. Weird to think about how even something as basic as a measurement is still very much a philosophical object of some, if not necessarily continuous, argument and distinction, whether or not or to what degree it may change again as we develop our understanding further of the natural world. But for our purposes, we're going to focus on things without getting too deep into that philosophy, where in the English system, we measure weights in terms of ounces, pounds, and tons, where 16 ounces makes one pound, 2,000 pounds makes one ton. And then when we're talking about metric, because metric is always in terms of powers of 10, we're still talking about this in terms of powers of 10, now for grams. So the kilogram is 1,000 grams, the hectogram is 100 grams, the decagram is 10 grams, the gram is one gram, the decigram is a tenth of a gram, the centigram is one one hundredth, and the milligram is one one thousandth, where really the main ones we talk about for that sort of thing would be the kilogram, the gram, and the milligram. You don't see those other ones quite so often for various reasons, but usually those three get most of the job done. And so if we want to talk about what 300 milligrams is, that's three tenths of a gram in exactly the same way that 300 millimeters is three-tenths of a meter. And for the record, we can also talk about weights and volumes and capacities in the same sorts of way, where we have that one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter is equal to one gram, one decimeter, it's a rare unit, is equal to 1,000 cubic centimeters, which is one liter, which is one kilogram, 
and one cubic meter is equal to one kiloliter is equal to 1,000 kilograms, which we call a metric ton. You don't see the metric tons quite as often, but that's where those come from. And again, that's a nice thing about how these values work, because they are in terms of cubic things, and they're all in terms of powers of 10, you just multiply the powers of 10, and you get nice connections between them. It's, it's very, very convenient for how these things work. So, what we're going to do here is get one quick example for how this comes together in terms of dimensional analysis. For this example, suppose an aquarium holds 0.25 cubic meters of water, and we want to find how much the full tank of water weighs. Or again, to be sure, we're going to find this value in terms of kilograms. Kilograms are technically mass, not weight, but for our purposes, we're going to use them as interchangeable because, well, we don't go to space that often, so the distinction's not that important for what we're doing. So here, we have that 1,000 kilograms gets one cubic meter. So if we want to convert from a quarter of a cubic meter, well, we want to get rid of that cubic meter and replace it with a kilogram, where we have that one cubic meter is 1,000 kilograms. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really heavy. Whoa, this is heavy. There's that word again, heavy. Why are things so heavy in the future? Is there a problem with the Earth's gravitational pull? What? But that ends up being, in this case, 250 kilograms, and yeah, that's quite a lot. It's about 500 pounds. You wouldn't lift that. The water, water is very, very heavy. But anyway, it's, this is a lot of the same sort of basic things we're doing with dimensional analysis, just have to keep track different conversion factors now. And next, we're going to do the same natural thing we've done before, talk about converting from metric masses to English weights.